Hello and welcome back to another Star Trek is Life. You may have been wondering where I've been for the last couple of years or not, in which case this video is for you because Picard also doesn't care. Let's go ahead and dive into a couple of instances where Picard just doesn't care or just doesn't give up. Engage. Picard, the legendary captain of the USS Enterprise, is renowned for his wisdom, diplomacy, and unwavering sense of duty. But there are moments where, to the untrained eye, it might seem like he just doesn't care. First off, we have Q-Who. In the episode Q-Who, say that five times fast, Picard is introduced to the Borg for the first time. When the Q offers to help the crew, Picard says, nah, I'm good, thinking that he can handle it, right? Well, he basically couldn't handle it. But the point is that he didn't care. But early on, he was really indifferent regarding Q. I think it's because he didn't realize how omnipotent Q was. Next, we have Measure of a Man, Season 2, Episode 9 of TNG. The Measure of the Man is a courtroom drama that questions the very nature of Data's existence. Picard was representing Data, and he initially takes a more legal approach, seemingly indifferent to the emotional implications of the case. It is at this exact moment that Picard doesn't care because he's a lot more concerned with winning than dealing with Data's personal feelings. Next, we have Offspring. When Data creates a daughter, Lao, in The Offspring, Picard's first reaction is one of concern for Starfleet regulations rather than Data's paternal feelings. Here we have Picard not caring for Data's emotional chip more than he actually cares for Starfleet regulations. Which, of course, we all know that he breaks about a dozen Starfleet regulations in each episode. Next! In the first duty, we have Wesley Crusher, who is caught in a cover-up at Starfleet Academy. Picard gives Wesley a tough love speech. Picard's emphasis on responsibility over personal feelings reveals a captain who prioritizes Starfleet's values above all else. Except he doesn't. In Chain of Command Part 2, Season 6, Episode 11 of TNG. Even under the torture of the Kardashians in the chain of command, he remains emotionally detached. His refusal to give in or show weakness will be seen as indifference in his own suffering. But it's in these moments that Picard's mental fortitude borders on indifference to pain. Season 6, episode 19, I have become Data. Lesson shows Picard's romantic side with Lieutenant Commander Nella Darren. But when duty calls, he remains detached and professional, prioritizing his responsibilities over personal feelings. Here, Picard's decision to distance himself emotionally, even when his heart is involved, is a testament to his dedication as a captain. Tapestry, Season 6, Episode 15. In Tapestry, Q offers Picard a chance to change his past, but Picard initially shows little interest in altering his history. His refusal to take Q's offer seriously shows a man at peace with his decisions, almost indifferent to the idea of living a different life because he's awesome. Next, we have Iborg. See what I did there? When the Enterprise rescues an injured Borg in Iborg, Picard's initial plan is to use him as a weapon against the Collective. Picard's cold strategic thinking here is in stark contract to his usual moral stance, showing an almost indifferent approach to the individual Borg. Hugh. In Season 7, Episode 8, Attached, it reveals the depth of Picard's feelings for Dr. Crusher, which we all knew that he had. But even when their emotions are laid bare, Picard remains composed and distant. His calm reaction, even in the face of such emotional truths, underscores his ability to keep his feelings in check. In Drumhead, Season 4, Episode 21, Picard faces a witch hunt led by Admiral Satie. Throughout her aggressive interrogation, Picard remains calm and logical, almost indifferent to her authority. His emotional dismantling of her case is a master class in keeping cool under pressure. Because he's the man. Thanks for watching. If you like Star Trek more than I do, then go ahead and leave a comment. If you like comments, then go ahead and leave a comment. If you don't like comments, then go ahead and leave a comment. 